What else did I get up to? I don't know. There was a lot of sitting. There was a lot of drinking coffee. Maybe of... perhaps smoking cigars? Yep. Oh, cigars. So here we got a big announcement, everybody. Are you ready for the big announcement? Here it is. So let me just kind of give you some, some context, right? So Steubenville, Ohio, where I live, is and has been for uh, a few decades or more a rather run-down town. But there is this desire on the part of the locals, of which I now am, to revive it. And so I'm on the main street here in Steubenville called 4th Street, and I'm told that 10 years ago, you wouldn't even come down 4th Street. It was it was kind of dangerous. Well, a local fella here, wonderful guy, started a coffee shop on the 4th Street, on 4th Street called Leonardo's. And that's really uh, revivified downtown. And it's kind of like the heartbeat of Steubenville now. And so many of us have been talking about crea- you know, starting some other businesses downtown and reviving this place. Uh, well, it... The good news about being in Steubenville is you can buy a house or a building for the price of a VCR, (laughs) like a top of the range VCR, but a VCR nonetheless. And so I'm I'm proud to announce that a few friends of mine here in Steubenville and myself are starting a cigar lounge. And um, it's going to be up and running next month. We're putting a ton of work into it. And let me show you the logo. I know there's been a lot of controversy about the logo. People don't like it. Um, or people love it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. It's going to be called Chesterton and Company Cigars. Now, we came up with the idea last year, which is why it says established in 2021. Um, I think that's when we filed. Uh, leave it up for a bit, would you? I think mm-hmm. it's cool. Um, but really, we'll probably change that to 2022. But on October 7th, next month, we're having a big street party here in Steubenville for Oktoberfest, and that will be the day that we open um chesterton and co cigars and so if you live in the area or even if you don't fly into steubenville have a cigar with us i want to show you some photos of of the place because it's it's really crazy how we've renovated it ah yes that's me standing in front of a giant cutout of australia we're going to switch to the other camera too matt so okay yeah you got it for you. right so there's that it didn't look like that to begin with but they <laughs> i think uh out of love for me cut it into that yeah, Rob told me it was kind of shaped like Australia, so he kind of yeah. messed it the rest of the way. So look at this. So we're, we're renovating it right now. Now, here's what's really cool. This actually used to be a cigar lounge called Diamond Square Cigars, and I'm not making this up. Back in the day, Dean Martin, the singer, worked at this cigar lounge. We actually, I don't have a photo on me right now, but we do have the photo, so whenever I have it, I'm going to throw it up. Um, but that's beautiful. Now, look at, look at this ceiling. So we actually um, restored the 100-year-old ceiling. It had drop ceiling. Can you believe that? <laughs> actually, there's another photo somewhere in here where I've shown the drop ceiling. Maybe. Let's see if I can find. Or maybe this. not. But anyway, so we've we've you know we're renewing that. That's uh, that's us working on the humidor. The humidor is is huge. It's 14 and a half feet tall. And we'll be able to fit approximately 10,000 cigars. We've got medical grade uh, three-stage filtration. So you're not going to be sitting with a bunch of smoke in your face. And see if you can show them the hardwood floors. Because we actually had to tear up five layers. Count them. Oh my gosh. Five layers of shag carpet <laughs> and tile until we got to these hardwood floors. They're beautiful, though. They need a polish for sure. But. Yeah, we're, we're, we're actually in the process now of, mm. of uh, redoing them. But I'm, I'm so excited. Um, Neil, if you could put ChestertonCigars.com in the description, yeah. people can click that. We're going to have a store next, uh, next, well, maybe next year. But for now, you can follow us on Instagram. So if you go to Chesterton Cigars, um, maybe you can put a link to the Instagram page as well. So if you go mm-hmm. to ChestertonCigars.com, you'll... You'll see it, uh, and we're going to start uploading photos. But anyway, we're just we're really excited about this because we want to create another place where people can come together and sit. <laughs> One thing I'm really excited about is there's going to be no televisions, no screens anywhere. Um, we're going to have a piano and a violin. There's going to be live music on different nights. There's going to be live readings of Chesterton and Tolkien and different 
pieces of poetry. So imagine that, like Thursday night, 8 p.m., live reading of Lord of the Rings or, or, or live reading of um, Orthodoxy by Chesterton or something where we'll sit in a circle and we're not going to comment on it. It's not a book club. We're just going to read sections and smoke together. There's going to be whiskey. Oh, my gosh. It's going to be so fantastic. Actually, show them that coin uh, on the top left there. Look at that. So these are little uh, tokens that we'll give you. Cool. So isn't that cool? Are you excited, Neil? Yeah, I am. I've been in this space. It's really cool. I yeah. think all the revitalization. I mean, people are saying gentrification in the comments. It's really not that because there's nothing down here. It's there's just nothing. empty. Absolutely empty. Just empty buildings, yeah. But um, um, yeah. And one thing I'm really excited about too is, and here's another announcement, is we want to start holding more in-person events. And one thing we're going to have coming up is a live debate. I'm going to fly up Trent Horn and Gavin Ortland. Um, both have kind of given me a tentative yes that they'll do it. And we're hoping to host the debate in the Cigar Lounge. So if you're in Steubenville or if you're near here, you can come and watch the event and it'll be pushed out live on Pints with Aquinas. So try and do more live events like that. Hey, thanks so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below letting us know what you thought about the video.